Adam's been living with me since we've gotten married, and now it's time to move his stuff in. He's got a lot of stuff. How's everything? OK. You know I love my baba. But if I'm honest, it's a little bit challenging because we haven't lived together. A lot of people don't wait until they get married to move in. They kind of just move in prior. Adam and I both come from traditional families, so we decided to wait until we got married to live together. The only time I've lived with someone was with my sister. Oh, Tia. Yeah. Tia, yeah. yes, and girls are different. I've only lived with one other person, and we have similar tastes. So living with another person other than my sister might be a little difficult. He doesn't like to throw away anything. So that's why I think he has lots of things, you know? Too many, Too many things. Adam's stuff is different from my stuff. I don't think his stuff will go together with mine. Let's just say that. Because he's a news reporter, he travels all around the world. He always brings home little gifts, but I don't like his little tchotchkes. I don't know what to do with all these little things. Yeah, you need to be careful. They're small, so... Yeah. See, like mm. this mm -hmm. doesn't have a place in my house. This mm -hmm. may be junk to me, okay. but to him, it's important. Yeah, every little thing has every a, you know, a meaning, meaning for him. to yeah, it. Meaning for him. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you think Adam and I can work out putting all of his stuff with my stuff? Wow, tomorrow that'll be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So tomorrow, what about the furniture? You know, the TV, coach, yeah, what else? The tables. No furniture. At all? At all. Wow. We made a pact. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We made a pact that he can sell that furniture or give it away. We'll give them to you. Cool. You can have it. Sure, tomorrow. You can have them. Okay, cool. Thank you, Francisco. No, tomorrow. Come on, okay. Milano. I don't know how you're going to handle dealing with a whole other person moving in here with all of his very meaningful stuff. I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard, Andrea. Not only that, I didn't think it was gonna affect me. It seriously is giving me a headache. Well, I think that you do need to learn how to compromise a little more. You are merging a whole other person into your life. His stuff is very meaningful to him, but it doesn't make sense to me. How would you feel if you had to move all of your important stuff into someone else's I knew you house? were gonna say that! <laughs> <laughs> means having his, unfortunately. I'm fine with him moving my stuff around. But when you move stuff around and you add stuff like <laughs> this... <laughs> we have to figure out how to work together. <sighs> I think I need help. <laughs> I think you need someone to help you. This, I'm just going to put this... Does he even know that it's here? Will he miss it? So where's the rest of Adam's stuff? No, I will show you. Oh my gosh. Because I'm a control freak, I didn't want a lot of Adam's stuff just out, so I just put it in the guest bathroom. <gasps> to there, I know. <laughs> Adam doesn't have a problem with me putting all his stuff in the bathroom because uh, there's no other place to put it. <laughs> I invited Adam Hunter over. He's an amazing interior designer for celebrities like Neil Patrick Harris, Travis Barker, Katie Cassidy. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, really? That's amazing. Didn't it just happen? Yeah, three weeks ago. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Is so it amazing? It's amazing, but we're going through the little transition. I thought he could help me and my Adam merge our styles together. We can start here. This is where all of Adam's stuff is. Like... Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. This isn't as bad as we think. Okay, okay. wait till you see this. He actually wants to keep all of this. This Come isn't on. some no. This is one of our main issues. Honestly, this is Well, this would be an issue for me too because it's just aesthetically makes you feel gross. <laughs> wow. This is another thing that I wanted to explain to you. One of Adam's main things that we always fight about. You see these little tchotchkes? This is the stuff. Oh, stop. No, I'm not kidding. When Adam moved in, he brought a lot of his tchotchkes. A lot. This is what I'm dealing with, which are very, very, very important to him. But they do not mix at all in my house. Oh, God, look at all these books he's added. Wait, I think that's a great book. That's a classic looking book. It is a beautiful book, though, isn't it? But there? it's, a, I mean, we're talking about this versus this. <laughs> 
I don't think there is a place for this. Adam travels all around the world, and he's so sweet. He always brings home little gifts or little tchotchkes. Adam doesn't necessarily have a style. It's more like he just gets what he likes. Right. You see, and so I think there's I something very sweet about that for your marriage, which is what matters. Let's see if we can okay. find places for these two little things in the living okay. room. Let's just see. I'm, okay. I'm just, just curious. I think, actually, <laughs> would you have a heart attack if we put it on a table? Oh, he would love that. It brings a little it's masculinity kind of into it, too, because it's, it's sports, right? Yeah. Isn't that a sport, baseball? Yeah. And then I actually think that this isn't so bad. Well, see, look, it's all these colors. No. No, let's stick with the book. Thank you. There. <laughs> is, is there hope for us? Of course. You guys are adorable and just starting out. Yeah. I understand what it's like, especially when style and decor is important to you. It's not really his thing. But then I, of course, understand that he's like, notice me. I'm here. But the thing is, is he, he thinks his stuff is just as nice as mine. No, he does. Yes, he does. No, he does. Yes, he does. Come on. I think he is trying to assert his presence in your life. And I think he's holding on to this. And he's saying, this is really important to me. This is really, really important. But what he's saying okay. is, make me feel like I'm important. And I think oh, the way you do that is, okay. is going shopping together okay. and okay. take his opinion in. OK. I think you're going to find half of the story you could agree upon. OK. I have to learn how to see it from his perspective. Yeah, right. So I think that this is the beginning of compromise. Adam Hunter was a breath of fresh air because he gave me terrific advice about merging our styles together. And he got me thinking it's not so much about Adam's stuff, but maybe more about me. I wanted to sit down and talk. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw my therapist. And um, she nailed down some of the issues that okay. newlyweds face. Mm -hmm. And one big thing is space. Yes. So it's like our our space. Right. But the thing is, is I don't want to draw this out, but basically was, there's hope for us. <laughs> I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The issue is is merging yes. your stuff with my stuff. Okay, okay. And what she was saying is it's important to make your stuff our stuff. Okay. So what is the most important thing that you would like to put up? in our space, right? and on a scale of 1 to 10, how important is it to you? In the whole scheme of things, nothing's a 10. Being with you is the 10, and anything else is... Oh, hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was, that was so sweet. That yes. was very nice of you to say that. Thank you. It was a huge relief knowing that all the stuff was in my my head and that Adam really didn't have a problem with merging all of our styles together. And he generally means it. He wasn't being a smart ass.